Hi, I'm Mike Minnell, and I'm here today to demonstrate how I use the EWS Base Mid Control. Uh, for me, I use it as a cut rather than a boost. I find that there are frequencies in the high mid range that I like to duck to get rid of, uh, and so I use it in that manner. So the tone I have going right now includes a compressor, the EWS pedal, uh, an exotic RC booster, and you're hearing me through a DI and also through a very inexpensive little amp. So for a nice dark, round, woody tone like that with a passive bass, which is what I have today, this works in a, in a remarkably good way. To hear what it sounds like without just the EWS, this is without the pedal. So we're, we're putting some of the high mid back in. And then with it back in again. The other nice thing about it is that it adds two ways to add boost. You can do so with the small uh, rotary knob on the bottom, and there's also a switch if you really want to add a huge amount. I don't find in this setup that I need to add any more boost uh, than maybe just a little past 12 o'clock. Um, the other thing that I like about this setup, in addition to what a good DI this is, is that you can take an amp that's fairly inexpensive and make it behave in a much more refined way than without it. I can still get a good tone without these guys. I'll leave the compressor on. This is not here with with uh, no uh, EQ. Of course, I'd have to add quite a bit of volume to compensate. Which really doesn't sound bad, but when you think about how much better things can be with some boost and with some EQ. Oh, that's a little too loud. And I have loads of, of room now with the volume knob and loads of ways to EQ the bass. I also brought along a Hopner bass with me so that we could hear a completely different instrument plugged into that. This bass has a lot more output so we have to make some changes with the amount of bottom and volume. So this bass actually has quite a bit of high mid. It can be fairly scrapey in the middle if you don't have some control over it. This is what it sounds like with nothing. So very harsh in the high mids, which can be useful in some settings, but I think for me, what I really prefer is uh, this kind of a tone. There's plenty of top, but nice uh, solid middle. So this bass is utterly different than a precision bass where the humbucker is a lot more volume and the EQ is a little different. But I think both of them benefit from both the exotic pedal and the EWS pedal. For more information, visit exotic.us and ews-us.com. <laughs>